Giovanni Falcone was the best friend this land ever had. A land blessed by God and cursed by man. He was the best in all of us. And for that reason, he was run into the ground. It seems like only yesterday that he returned to Palermo to take on a routine job in bankruptcy. But it was so like Giovanni to use that position to defend his beloved Sicily against the terror of the Mafia. A quiet, conscientious man who would come to galvanize the nation in a deadly fight of good against evil. Investigators were unable to find a single witness who testified. Blood against. leads directly to the mafia. Act of retaliation in response to the wrong. The death of Agent Lenin Mancuso gunned down as he left his office. A determined foe of the mafia, Mancuso had been Another police officer, Captain Basile, a long time ago. As he walked to a town fair with his wife, his four-year-old child inside. Introduced today in Paris, in an effort to curb the ever increasing Terranova was brutally assassinated as he left his home this morning. A member Once of the again, parliament. The government of finds itself unable to stop the homicidal rampage of the mafia. Despite widespread collusion, organized crime in all branches of the government. The confidence. Of the Russo. Russo, one of the most tenacious officers. The mafia made good its strength today with the murder of Boris Giuliano, the newly appointed chief of the squadra Giuliano, the president of the mafia, began to shed some light on the web of narcotic traffic. In another world the government, Miguel Reina, head of the Christian Democratic Party of the province of Palermo, was shot to death. Office of his pledge to fight back. Good morning. When did you get in? I never got out. How are you trying to make the rest of us look bad? It doesn't take much effort. Huh. Nice, huh? Making friends and influencing people, I see, eh? I should work half as hard just to make them happy. You should keep your door closed. It was. Giovanni, not everyone's as obsessive as you. Listen, one of the uh, mafiosi from the case I'm working on escaped. You know, my father-in-law is a judge. So he went to someone here and said that his uh, daughter will not be a widow. And of course, his uh, grandchildren cannot be orphans. He took you off? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he tried to. It's amazing the power of the mafia. They can get you not only through your enemies, but... Uh, but through your friends. I should work in bankruptcy like you. Mm. Mm. I told Agnese we'd meet her at 10. We'd better go. Knowing her, she's probably got her half moved in by now. Close the door. Oh. <laughs> It'll look better once it's painted, especially the bedroom. I like it, Agnese. It's just sort of big for one person. Oh, well, that can always change. <laughs> I don't care. It's not natural for a man to be alone. I don't want that here. But we're in it, too. Then you keep it.
55 members of three mafia families accused of running a massive international heroin ring were arrested today in Palermo. Speaking for the Department of Justice... Nini Casara acknowledged that while the evidence against some of the defendants was preliminary, it was important for the for the government to show its determination to bring the mafia to justice. Do you think there is sufficient proof to convict them? No comment, please. Wait, no comment. No comment. No comment. We have to let them go. We demand that they be released immediately. I can only do what I can do. Wait, wait, wait. Judge Costa, understand. Judge Costa. None of the 55 arrest warrants have been signed. If your office has evidence against our clients, why aren't the warrants authorized? Wait, wait. wait. If you don't stop, I will arrest you. You can't tell the mafiosi from their lawyers. What's going on? Why haven't the warrants been signed? We double-checked the evidence, but it seems insufficient. You are insufficient. Give me a pen. I am sorry, I don't have one. <laughs> now, get out of my sight, all of you. Don't look at me. He signed them. I can't believe you. Excuse me, Judge Costa. I wanted to say this morning in the hallway that never should have happened. It happens every day. You have a solution? A solution for indifference, for betrayal? Not if they don't believe. But I've always heard you were a brave man and you deserve support. I'd like to offer you mine. What is your name? Giovanni Falcone. Come to my office tomorrow. Ah, by the way, this is yours. I've got another one. <laughs> they told me you're a careful man. It occurred to me, given your background, you might be able to help us with a mafia case. I was born in Alcalza. I grew up with the mafia. I played with their children. We breathe the same air. I know what they're made of. You understand the danger? Of course. It's a drug investigation. Be careful who you trust. Be careful who you speak to. Who you choose to make your friend. Make sure those around you are on your side. Because the battle is lost when you are isolated. Then they can kill you. I have six months to retirement. Most of the time, I sleep here. My wife, she never sees me. You're not married? No. No oh good. Please come back later. Falcone? Uh, Judge Kenichi, come in. Thank you, Steeds. Costa told me you were working with us now on a mafia case. I have pounded every currency exchange record from every bank since 1975. If you can't follow the drugs, you follow the money. It starts with Giuseppe Di Cristina, who was killed in the Salvatore and Zarillo family territory. In his pocket was a check for 10 million lira by Zarillo himself along with transfers for 20 million more made by the Neapolitan Camorra, which deposited hundreds of millions into other Mafia family accounts. In one year, they transferred 3 billion lira 
between Palermo and Naples. From there, the network grows. All these families are working together. I'm learning who talks to who, who shakes whose hand, who murders, who steals. Even the names on their underwear. There's nothing I haven't found out. Do you think I can get a computer? You are a computer. Give me a cigarette. I want to question some of them. Not that I imagine any of them would ever talk. Never. By the way, here's your fan mail. Anonymous threats. Costa said they tried to divide us. What does it say? A friendly warning. Rocco Kenichi cannot be trusted. I got one too. Only mine said you cannot be trusted. Here, check the watermark. Ministry paper. They're coming from someone in this office. Your time working in bankruptcy has served you well, Falcone. The money trail, it never lies. It wasn't like this. Some guy with a 9mm. Of course, nobody on the street saw anything. He was going to retire in two months. I couldn't wait. This way. I am uh, Mario Fabri, the new bodyguard. I said I didn't want a bodyguard. Well, you better speak to the security committee. I'd rather drive myself. As I said, you'll have to speak to the security committee. You don't like this assignment, do you? Well, not really. You have to be committed to it. If you don't like it, I can get you a transfer. Think about it. I'll give you a week. Any longer, we could both be dead.
We're so happy you're handling this case. We've heard you have a great reputation for fairness. Sir, if your clients are innocent, then they're lucky to have me on the case. But if they're guilty... So none of your money comes from drugs. Can you tell me how a man with a second grade education ends up owning 50 hotels? I go to church every day. I don't believe in miracles. I said I don't know anything about a plane flight. This says you bought a ticket on March 2nd. Pure coincidence that your plane was carrying 10 kilos of heroin? You know how many planes carry heroin? No, how many? I don't know. Pure coincidence, then, that you were wired 200 million lira that day. The exact cost of the heroin. If you have never heard of Salvatore Puccio, why did you wire him 60 million lira in June of 1979? It's a mistake. That's mine. <laughs> Was it a mistake that you wired him 52 million in July, 51 million in October, and another 49 million in November? <laughs> Most men in Sicily are content to do as little as possible. Why do you want to make all this trouble? <laughs> How would you like to come to work for me? I have a job. That's why you're here. I thought about your offer. There aren't a lot of people here who think the way you do. That someone has to stand up to the Mafia. Consider me committed. Thank you. Okay, why are we taking this road? You're going the opposite way. Surprise! <laughs> You're supposed to protect me. He is. From yourself. Giovanni, so glad you could join us. How are you, Anita? I'm fine. Look at you. You're so fair. You come to the beach with us. You can lie in the sand and do absolutely nothing. There's an extra place, sir. Francesca! I'm going to thank you for this. How long is it? How are you? Thrilled to be having dinner with two such beautiful ladies. Uh, Francesca, this is Giovanni Falcone. Giovanni Francesca Morvito. Nice to meet you. Hello. Hello. I should say it's a pleasure to meet you again. We were once almost engaged. Francesca. Oh. <laughs> oh. Seventh grade. You asked me to marry you during recess. Uh, Francesca is a magistrate in the Court of Appeals. I heard about the great success you're having in your investigation. Twelve more arrested today. Mm. My God. I have to call Dick Martin and Louis Free. I have a thousand things to do before I get those warrants out. Now? But it's dinner time. Not in New York. Francesca, it was wonderful meeting you again. I hope you all understand. You hijacked me and I'm rude. You're so upset if you didn't need the woman so much. Fine. I'll get a woman when you get some manners. Oh, right. You don't have a heart. Uh, what's going on? Please. We're leaving. But 
Francesca. Now. We just can leave her there. Don't go. What about Pablo and Anise? They left. Please, Francesca, let me explain, Seth. Please. You see, my wife left me. As you might expect, I didn't spend much time at home the way I work. Look, I know it may have appeared that way, but I didn't come here in a wedding dress. I was going to have dinner with friends. I just had some fond memories, and I thought it would be nice. I'm sorry. I'm a fool, that's all I could say. Well, at least you remembered me. What happened when I asked you to marry me? The bell rang. <laughs> Liar. I never kissed her. She had braces like Bob wire. How would you know? Giovanni, she told me you asked her to marry you. I did. But I asked you first. Oh. <laughs> oh, thanks, Change. I remember you loved opera. I still love opera. I never understood its appeal. That's because you don't know it. I'll teach you. appointed prefect at Palermo was assassinated tonight along with his wife and bodyguard. General the death of Dalla Chiesa is a major, is a major blow, blow for the anti-mafia anti campaign, campaign in Sicily, which had hoped that the general, who successfully led Italy's fight against the Red Brigade, would lead a similar offensive against the mafia. The general's bodyguard. Francesco, with me. Francesco, we must go. Francesco. Goodbye. Bye, Francesco. Senator Lima, the Mafia candidate himself. If you want to know who ordered the killing, look to see who sent the first flowers.
At the end of the Roman Empire, as the barbarians approached the city of Sagunto, the Roman army withdrew, abandoning the local citizens. The people of the city were slaughtered, and shortly after, the empire fell. Palermo today is like Sagunto. Because Rome has abandoned us, deserted us. And we are left here in the hands of killers. Archbishop of Palermo issued a clear denunciation of the government today, blaming Rome for the death of General Della Chiesa and all the other victims of mafia violence. The cathedral filled to overflowing with mourners. Many of the members of the government. We have an impromptu demonstration. The plaza in front of the cathedral is swarming with protesters, clearly ignoring the fear of reprisal. The people, the people of, Palermo of Palermo have taken to the streets in an unprecedented protest against the mafia. Outraged by the death of General Dalla Chiesa, his wife and bodyguard, the Sicilian people are demanding the government do something. For all of Sicily, their presence here today is a message to the government. They want the killing to stop. There's hope for Sicily after all. I, I never would have believed it. I'm going to be late. So I'll be late. Giovanni, turn on the news. What is it? I got Buscetta. He was apprehended at his ranch near the mouth of the Amazon. Buscetta, known as the godfather of two worlds, broke his parole and fled Italy to Brazil, where he continued to control the principal cocaine markets between South America, Europe, and the United States. Convinced that Buscetta, should he testify, could bring down the seemingly impenetrable wall of silence protecting the mafia, the office of Judge Rocco Chinici is pressing authorities on both sides of the Atlantic. Aren't you going to answer that? Chinici. Who was it? Wrong number. I have to go. Now wait for me. You can give me a ride. No, darling. Oh, 
Come on. I have to go. Bye. Judge Kinishi, you're me. Oh, good morning. Judge Falcone? Judge Falcone? I came to offer my condolences. They're not accepted. your security. You're getting to be very expensive for the state. At least they save money on you. What is this? I thought you'd have heard it by now. The cases in this office are being investigated by another division. What? That's impossible. Nothing is to be touched until the new chief is named. These files cannot leave this office. They've been requested by the division assigned to investigate Kenichi's murder. And I've been put in charge of their safekeeping. Put that down right now! Get out of here! You have no authority here! When or if a replacement can be found for Judge Knichi, you can take it up with him. Involving the governments of Italy, the United States, and Brazil, alleged mafia kingpin Tommaso Buscetta is on his way back to Italy today. It is expected Where is that it upon his arrival, he will be interrogated by authorities in Rome. Although Buscetta has so far refused to speak to anyone, the hopes run high. The will will finally be able to crack Buscetta's determined silence. The importance of the information Buscetta might provide Sources have cannot confirmed be that, despite some success, case being built has stalled in recent months. The evidence against the Mafia proving difficult to be from the past. Students! Students! Open the door! See if there's a dog. I will only speak with the judge from Palermo. Good evening. Giovanni Falcone. Good evening. Remove the handcuffs. Lucky to have such a good doctor on 
Thank you. You asked to speak to me. Why? They tell me you are not afraid. Of the Mafia? No. You really believe you can fight the Mafia and live when so many before you have died? I've learned to be a cautious man. Others have been cautious before you, but... These others that you speak of, they were my friends, Bushata. And to rid Sicily of this cancer, I find the risk we're taking. I owe it to them. I can help you. And why would you? We both grew up in Sicily. You perhaps thinking you would be a good citizen, like your father. A man of strong moral principles. I was raised with the Mafia. But the Mafia I will speak of is changed. Where once we valued honor, respect now there is only betrayal. Bouchard, I know who you are and what you have done. Don't pretend to be blameless. No one is more aware of his guilt and his sins than I. Like every good Catholic boy, I was taught about heaven and hell. But the priests lied. Hell doesn't wait for you to die. My brother, my nephew, my two oldest sons killed by the Mafia because they couldn't kill me, because of me. That is the Mafia today, and that is why I will help you. But, in exchange, you must help me. They are all I have left. You must swear. You will protect them with your life. I swear. From this moment, my wife and children are your wife and children. I will tell you everything, Judge Falcone. But understand, what you will learn from me comes at a price. The Mafia will not rest until your distinguished corpse is added to that pile of excellent cadavers. Locking you up like prisoners, I see. Rather than retired, I took this job because of the immense importance of the work you're doing. Thank you, Judge Kapanet. Choose the man you trust. Share all leads, all information you get from Buscetta. That way, they cannot divide us. I was raised by the Mafia. They taught me to live by bloodshed. Because it is with blood that you enter the Mafia. It is only with blood that you can leave the Mafia. Every man of honor belongs to a family, which corresponds to a neighborhood or town. At the head of each family is a leader who is elected, like Michele Greco, boss of Ciacuni, or Pippo Calò of Porto Nuova. The soldiers of each family are organized in groups of ten, overseen by a captain. Each group of three families chooses a district leader who represents them in the governing body called the Commission. The current one is led by three men, Stefano Bontade, Salvatore Inzerillo, and Toto Rina. How the other bosses made a mistake underestimating Totorina, this peasant from Corleone, this friend of all, this man of honor. 
His ambition masked by his false loyalty, his intelligence exceeded only by his ruthlessness. Dr. Rina did not come to celebrate Pontade's birthday, but his funeral. didn't stop with Stefano. Other members of his family began to disappear one by one. And then he turned to Inzerillo. He had 21 members of the Inzerillo family killed. He would say not even their seed will remain. He killed women whose only sin was to be the wife or daughter of a man of honor. Totorina took Inzerillo's only son. He cut off his heart, so he couldn't avenge his father. And gave it to the pigs to eat. The Mafia has never killed a boy. Women, entire families. But Totorina is an animal. We were men of honor. I lived by a code of honor. Until Totorina... I am not betraying the Mafia by saying these things to you, Judge Falcone. It is Totorina who has betrayed the Mafia. Anybody seen the Greco file? Greco, what is this? What is this? I don't know, it must be yours. Where are we signing? Totorina. I need the file on Totorina. This goes with Calderon and Who took Who is he? Who is he? Somebody please help me. Everyone stop right now. Carlo. Stop asking everyone else for something and put on your glasses and find it yourself. Sophia, I want everything relabeled. I just labeled it. Well, then you would know. There is a Greco M and a Greco P. Also, there is a Greco L and two Greco S's. Now do your job or don't. And treat every piece of information as if it were a matter of life or death. I won't accept anything less. We're going to fight the Mafia. We have to be as good as the Mafia. By infiltrating the political world, the Commission controls almost every public contract in Sicily, which explains why we have highways that go nowhere, dams without water, seaports without ships, destroyed cities. And at the center? Totorina. Yeah. Every bank transaction, every drug deal, every bribe offered or taken has Totorina's smell on it. But not his fingerprints. You won't get Totorina. He's too well protected. Focus on the commission. The commission authorizes the killing of every judge, every policeman, every civil servant, all your excellent cadavers. Costa, Kinnici, Dalla Chiesa, all of them. You're telling me that each member of the commission is responsible for every killing? Yeah. You'll testify to that? Yes. Put the whole commission, the whole organization on trial. There's not a courtroom big enough. <laughs> week in the massive trial being prepared against the Mafia. Armed with warrants drawn up by judges Falcone and Borsellino, the anti-Mafia pool apprehended hundreds of suspected Mafiosi. 
This is by far the largest anti-mafia operation of this decade, with the arrest of 366 people today and supposedly many more to come. Fearing reprisals against Judge Falcone and other members of the anti-mafia pool, the entire police force has been placed on alert. The... Come on. It's back time. Mama! Something strange is coming. Come on. Let's go. Francesca Morvillo, please leave your message after the tone. Francesca, this is Maria. Oh. I tried you at the office, but they said you had left. I need to speak to you about tonight. Something's come up. If you get this, call me. Please, it's important. Oh, Maria, it's so good to see you. <laughs> Maria, this is Giovanni, finally. Giovanni, my dear friend Maria. I've heard so much about you. I'm sorry. I tried to call, but I couldn't reach you. Both the kids have the flu, and uh, it's really bad. I am Sarah. Hello, darling. We just saw... Judge Falcone on TV. I didn't know it was so serious. I have children. I'm sorry. I don't believe you dragged me from work to visit some hysterical woman. How dare you? She's afraid. You don't understand anything, and she's not some hysterical woman. She's my friend. What's wrong with you? Do you know what my work is? Do you know what this business with Buscetta means? So if you and your hysterical friends can't handle that, then there's no point of us going on. Fine. Do what you want. You will anyway. But don't treat me like an idiot. Maybe it's all for the best. For whom? Are you doing this for me? Are you trying to protect me? Giovanni, pull over. Pull over. So you think you can spare me and spare you by pushing me away? You will hurt me now instead. I'm scared, Francesca. Any sane person would be. When it was just me, I... I... Even if we survive, what kind of life can we have? Driving around in bulletproof cars, surrounded by bodyguards. We can't even go out to dinner without terrifying our friends. Oh, I know. This thing with Pusheta. I can't let you be involved in that. You can't let me. Do you forget? I'm a judge too. And a Sicilian. And I hate them for what they've done to our country as much as you do. This is my fight too. But if something were to happen to you, I... Giovanni. Who told me? Who convinced me that things can change? My God, if... If two people who love each other can't live together... Then what are we working for? Look, when you get up in the morning, do you think today they will win? Today they will kill me? No. You think today I'm going to make a difference, or maybe tomorrow? Or maybe the day after? I understand only that I love you.
you find something nicer? What's wrong with this? Take mine. Giovanni Falcone, take Francesca Morbillo to be your lawful wedded wife? I do. Do you, Francesca Morbillo, take Giovanni Falcone to be your lawful wedded husband? I do. Exchange the rings. I hereby declare you husband and wife. I should be the first to kiss the bride. Congratulations. Congratulations, Francesca. Congratulations. Say congratulations. Congratulations. Tell Uncle Jim. All right, everybody. Ready? Yes. Evidence, biography, bank records. So what are these? Dead threads. Which reminds me, Paolo, I need the combination to your safe. Why? When they kill you, how are we going to open it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Listen, I'll show you mine when you show me yours. <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys. I'm going home. Falcone. Yes, this is Falcone too. How's the honeymoon? Great. Paolo and I are the perfect lovebirds. I love you too. Giovanni Falcone. No more women. can protect you here. There's two men. What happened? Francesca. Francesca. They killed Nini and his bodyguard. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. Laura. Oh, Laura. We, we have to go. We have to go see 
out on the boys. Giovanni, we have to get somewhere safe until we finish drafting the indictment. You're right. nightmares of me being blown to bits. Indictment prepared by Judges Falcone, Borsellino, and other members of the anti-mafia pool painstakingly documents through wiretaps, fingerprint analysis, money transfers, and bank records the full extent of the Mafia's involvement in the heroin trade, protection and construction rackets, and the long string of murders they committed to protect those businesses. The courthouse has been specially built for this trial. These tables will hold over 1,000 lawyers and witnesses. On either side, 30 steel cages for the defendants. Metal detectors, electronic monitors, alarms, television cameras at every door. The exterior will support 3,000 armed soldiers to protect the prosecution and its witnesses. The indictment, the culmination of Judges Falcone and Borsellino's years of effort, is dedicated to the late Rocco Chinici, who first began this work more than three years ago. Today in Palermo, history is being made as the anti-mafia pool begins its combined prosecution of over 400 accused Cosa Nostra members. One notable absentee is Salvatore Toto Reina, believed to be the current head of the Sicilian Mafia. Reina's whereabouts are unknown, though he is suspected of still being in Palermo. Silence in court! organization known as Cosa Nostra, which with violence and intimidation has sown and continues to sow death and terror. 
Lines began forming last night as people waited to see the first appearance of the star witness of this trial, Tommaso Buscetta. Buscetta's confessions are pivotal to the case, though many people believe that the ex-mafiosi would never dare to actually testify at the trial. I ask that Tommaso Buscetta take the witness stand. State your name. Tomas Boucher. That's Michele Greco. He's ordered over 70 murders, including that of Rocco Chimici. I demand silence. They call him the Pope. Do you recognize this man? Mm. Luciano Ligio. He likes to kill. One wrong word, you can smell death in the air. What do you know about his relationship with the union leader, Placido Rizzotto? He killed him. He shot him, stabbed him, threw him in the ditch. There was a boy, uh, a shepherd, sorry. Ligio forced the boy to stab Rizzotto to make him part of the crime, to keep him quiet. The boy later killed himself. Silence in court! Number 35. Pippo Cano. I know something he doesn't. I know where his son is hidden. But I didn't kill his son. Because he didn't do anything to me. As for Pippo Cano himself. If someone gave me a gun right now, I would kill him here in front of everyone. My two sons did nothing to him. But he killed them. Because their name was Buscetta. Why didn't you kill me? Don't worry. <laughs> Silence. <laughs> Silence in court. You laugh because you are afraid. The game is over, people. It's over. You are over. We will never end. Silence! Even though these gentlemen may not have killed anyone with their own hands, you have decided they are cold-blooded killers. They ordered the killing. <laughs> if I order someone to tell a lie, does that make me a liar? If you build a bad car that kills the owner, who do you charge? The assembly line worker or the owner of the company? No murder is committed without the command of a boss. It's Cosa Nostra law. And you who've broken that very law by turning against your brothers are fit to make that pronouncement. This man is a master criminal whose only motivation here is to cleanse his own dirty soul. And who is going to save your soul? This is outrageous! Silence, Rex! Right. Stay at the court! Silence! No. I demand no. silence! No, 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 no. Judge Falcone, Judge Falcone, do you think the verdict is going your way? What will it mean for the judgment, Judge Falcone? Judge Falcone, are you capable? You can win. Judge Falcone, can I ask a question, please? The court.
zu sehen. In the name of the Italian people, the criminal court of Palermo declares Toto Rina guilty of the crimes of murder, extortion, and kidnapping, and condemns him in absentia to life imprisonment. The court declares Michele Greco guilty of the crimes of murder. Silence! Silence! Guilty of the crimes of murder and extortion and condemns him to life imprisonment. Silence! Silence! The court declares Pippo Calò, guilty of murder and assault, <laughs> and also of the manufacture and distribution of heroin, and for these crimes, condemns him to life in prison. <laughs> Judge Corrado Carnavale lived up to his record of overturning the convictions of mafiosi on the smallest of legal technicalities by setting free Michele Greco, the mafia boss convicted in the death of Judge Rocco Kenichi. This brings to 37 the number of mafiosi Carnavale has set free out of the 344 found guilty at the Palermo Maxi trial. Whether any of the sentences handed down at the trial will stand seems increasingly in doubt. Say at the beginning, the Italian state is not serious about fighting the mafia. What will it take? Ask yourself how Totorina could live in the middle of Palermo for 23 years to marry to a father, four children, and never be captured. When the state arrests Rina, then the real war will begin. Do you know where they're taking you? America, I don't know. To live in a foreign country. No past, no dignity. But at least there I can watch my children grow up. You want children? You're supposed to be children into this world, not orphans. You love your wife? Very much. Because in the end, that's what matters most. importance was vacant, we must consider many factors. First, I feel Judge Falcone is too young for the job. If we make him chief prosecutor today, in 10 years he will be on the Supreme Court. Is that fair to all those who have waited much longer? Second, I don't believe in personality cults. I vote for Judge Melly. Maybe Falcone. 
Lord's mailing. Giovanni? He's coming. He'll be here. Since Judge Maley has never worked as a mafia investigator, I cannot give him my vote. Judge Falcone has it by default. Silence, please. I agree with my fellow magistrate, and I give my vote to Judge Falcone. The day we begin bestowing the stature of genius and superman on a fellow magistrate is the day we revert to fascism. I vote for Judge May. I am outraged. Are you going to sit here and deny the fact that Judge Falcone is the engine that moves us all? resignation. You know what people are going to say. I don't care what they say, Paolo. I can't. And with mainly in power, I can do more in Rome. You're right. I... I just want you to be happy. What is happy? You deserve it. You and Francesca deserve more. Happy is for children. Giovanni, why don't you give yourself a break? I can't. Before you regret it, you're only human. You know, Paolo, my father used to brag that in his whole life, he never took one coffee break. <laughs> and, uh, and that gave him a better life? Did it? No. Well, then promise me you'll try. I'll try. You're going to miss all this. I'm going to miss you. Judge Giovanni Falcone, the newly appointed Director of Criminal Affairs for the Ministry of Justice, arrived in Rome today. Falcone's appointment, which some war say... ...against the Mafia, is being heralded by others as taking that war to a higher level. Opinion is also divided Judge as to Falcone the extent... Judge Falcone can affect Falcone any can real change, change at the Ministry. Falcone, why did you decide to abandon the courtroom? In Palermo, we worked at cleaning a single room and renovating it. But to fight the Mafia... The entire palace of justice has to be cleaned up. We need new laws. I'd like to follow the American model, which includes laws that protect witnesses. And we should form an Italian FBI. How do you feel about Judge Carnevale setting free so many of the mafiosi you convicted? No comment. Do you think we'll ever see the end of the mafia? The mafia is only human. And like all human things, it has a beginning and will ultimately have an end. Let's just hope for all our sakes, its end is near. Anniversary. <laughs> My God. Incredible. It's the only day you don't remember. I thought you hated opera. I'm 
Ang gaya sa'yo. Yes, very good. The judicial revolution begun by Judge Giovanni Falcone since his arrival in Rome claimed its first victory today with the reinstatement of the sentences imposed by the Palermo Maxi trial. In what appears to be an act of retaliation by the Mafia, Senator Salvatore Lima, the most powerful politician in Sicily, was assassinated. Francesca, I'm going to Palermo. What? You heard they killed Lima. They're sending a message to the politicians. This is what happens when you break your promise. The old alliances are coming apart, Francesca. They've never been more vulnerable. Why do you have to be the one to go? I want to go. If you go, I go. You don't have to. Yes, I do. Mario, I thought they promoted you. Well, they did. And why are you dressed up like a bodyguard? I don't know. When I heard you were coming, I couldn't resist. Welcome home, Judge Falcone. Judge Falcone. Federico. Welcome. Father. Palermo. Mario, do me a favor. Let me drive. Sure, but why not? Giovanni Falcone was the best friend this land ever had. A land blessed by God and cursed by man. He was the best in all of us. And for that reason, he was run into the ground. I will continue Giovanni's work and the search for the truth. But I fear I may not have enough time. Just two months after the assassination of Judge Falcone, Paolo Borsellino was murdered along with five bodyguards Outraged once again. Outraged by the deaths of Georges Falcone and Borsellino, the crowd of mourners erupted into a riot today, attacking the state officials who failed to protect the two the men who more than mafia anyone kingpin Salvatore Totò Riina was arrested today in downtown Palermo, charged with giving the order to kill Falcone and Borsellino. The Italian Rina, state, stunned into action by the assassination of Georges Falcone and Borsellino, has launched the biggest anti-mafia campaign in decades. Suspected mafiosi throughout the... One third of the Italian parliament has come under some form of investigation. <laughs>